Welcome to Torg Tuesdays. This is Iconic Production. I'm JM, your GM, and this is our group for Eternity Shards. When we last left off, you guys had escaped the party at uh, Farouk's Manor. And a little worse for the wear. <laughs> just a, a little bit. Just a tiny bit. You seem really upset about that, Kage. <laughs> um, roll better. Um, oh. so... <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's coming out swinging. Um, you guys had spent a week of downtime recovering and going out to figure out what uh, your next steps were. You discovered that there was a map on the inside of the sarcophagus. A map that seems to be made of constellations. Mm. That we will... Um, we will discuss in a bit, but I, what I wanted to know from you is what are you guys doing during your week of downtime? Um, Developing a new shell. Alright. Harnessing the power of her electricity. It intrigued me. Also, you got really hurt by it. Yeah. Went through a wall. But it, it was, was the lightning. It was the explosion afterwards. Okay. Yeah, the lightning didn't hurt him. It was definitely the traumatic tissue trauma caused <laughs> by the lightning exploding something. Oh, okay. Um, all right. So, um, Archibald, you spend your week, and I assume that's what you're spending your XP on as well. Yes, my five XP to make a new perk, which is every okay. time I have a new shell, I have to take a perk. All right. Now, and remember, the next time you take a perk, it'll be seven. Seven. All right. Kage. I think I did that wrong. What's that? I uh, picked up a perk. I only have five points. How many perks? Yeah, it's five. It's five for the first the one, first and time then seven for the one. next one, and then nine. Did you pick up a perk last time? Oh, uh, that's all I've done. You've only picked up perks? Yeah. Then you are two XP I'm shy of that. XP so you're going to save up for your, your perk yeah. for the next one? Yeah. Say minus two. Not available. Get ready. That's right. Uh, I'm trying to oh, No, no, no. I'll put two. If you come in costume, I'll give you the two XP. That's not happening. I know. <laughs> it would be so good if you did, though. Uh, what did you do? Am I not yeah. sign up because of that? I'm not allowed to do anything. No. What are you gonna? What are you doing? <laughs> I guess so, Christopher. I'm sorry. Those are just the way. I want to find work. more about the uh, the Frenchman. You would like to find out more about the Frenchman. I have a a oh. friend who is French, Madeleine. <laughs> That's cool. If you want to talk to her. Sure. Actually. Actually. That is the name of the person that we were going to use for his contact, because thanks to uh, Ulf for uh, donating a NPC and name idea to use in one of our games, and we'll be using that tonight, there is a go. there is an information broker in Cairo by the name of Madeline. Madeline. She is not French. I'm sorry, my forger is Madeline, and she is French. Oh, it is? It is. Well, there we go. So Madeline and Madeline, don't get them confused. That's right. Make sure you do the proper accents. So, what are you doing to find a find out information about the Frenchman? Well, interesting note, the Frenchman's not French. He's Swiss. <laughs> they speak French, French now. Good Canadian, eh? Um, he he could Cote be Canadian. <laughs> he is not. <laughs> um, but the Canadian Frenchman apologizes for not appearing in this campaign. So, <laughs> uh, I mean, he's an underworld figure. So yep. I figure, um, I don't know. It's got to be what one of those places that your other your other contact, um, Gerald, frequents. Mm -hmm. oh, oh yeah, I'll start. You know. I, th I believe the technical term is dive. Yeah, I'll start going to dives. And, uh, Diners. You know, Drive-ins. Yeah, and, and, and see yeah. what I can find out. <laughs> is, it, is, is, it, uh, is it in Flavortown? Give me a fine roll, please. <laughs> You're the best. Thanks for piling on that. That was good. <sighs> Um, well, Christopher's now down eight XP. I'm not sure how that happened. Nothing, nothing we can do about it. Find. Um, what is that? Mind. Mind, mind is based <laughs> off mind. You okay, I'm gonna find. Or you can use persuasion. Yeah, or MC streetwise. Thing's got it. MC Fang has 
good old five. persuasion and streetwise. None Those would be useful have. if I had taken it. Streetwise is charisma. So you get for buying perks right and left. Mm-hmm. Well, he still has, he does charisma. Body what's perk what's streetwise? Also charisma. charisma. I will, I'll, I'll check charisma. I'll what a hate. Why don't you check charisma? Oh, yeah. Right now. Do you have charisma? I don't. <laughs> mm. he, he has a seven. I don't think it's that, that was high. said both in character and <laughs> at your character. You have charisma. <laughs> 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 oh, Take my dice and go home. <laughs> oh, you can't because your Gervais is right. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> we rode together today. What'd you get? Uh, mighty thirteen. Ow, mighty ow. thirteen. Wait a minute, I'm, I'm gonna take my dice and sit. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I'm actually. I wrote down mighty thirteen. Okay. Oh. So we will come back to you. I just wanted to know what what you mm-hmm. were doing. Um, Amiza, what are you doing? You know, I thought I'd get to know Alistair in case I need contacts in this world again. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, are you? I mean, and also, what if we need another safe house? We're getting kind of cramped. Oh, it is super <laughs> great. It is. It is. Uh, oh, we made our way back to it's, the... it's really, it's not so much the space after a week, it's the smell. Yeah, I don't like uh, that. Velociraptors. <laughs> brewing things. You are brewing things. things. He's very clean. <laughs> he is. He just <laughs> hangs out in the bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> what about when you have to take a shower? Where does he go? He doesn't uh, mind. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uncomfortable, but it's fine. The humidity. The humidity. Yeah. Yeah, he likes it. <laughs> um, all right, so you're just, are you just trying to establish him as a contact? Or are you trying to pump him for information? Um, um, do we still need a pump for information? I don't think so, really. <laughs> There's something happening. <laughs> are, are you trying to find me? I'm sorry. Okay, Jay, I, mean, I, I have dirty minds. I, I got... I yes. um, so... <laughs> Um, are you just trying to establish him as a contact? <laughs> okay, uh, persuasion roll or charisma. I'm not really high charisma. I looked at her and she repeated it. I was like, oh, there it goes. Here we, here we are. Mm-hmm. <laughs> here we are. Um, do you add your... Oh, wait, no, I remember how to play this game. Uh, Twelve. All right. Sadie, what are you and MC Fang doing? Now, remember, taking MC Fang out into the streets... Makes us more noticeable. It kind of sort of does. Yeah. He's getting rescued. Um, <laughs> he has already been in disguise as a unicorn. Oh, he's really displeased about it. <laughs> you have a monocle, don't you? Just put him. <laughs> oh, that would be hilarious. <laughs> um, well, <laughs> MC Fang requires exercise. Um, do we have a backyard? This thing? is an apart, a studio apartment. Okay, yeah, just in kidding. 1920s Cairo. Do you think velociraptors <laughs> can swim? In the Nile? I mean, I think so. I think he's pretending to be an alligator. <laughs> Fine, not for the week. I, I, will, I will check it out. No pee ground. <laughs> and he's dead. Take him off the table. No. <laughs> uh, so you send MC Fang out into the Nile for a couple of days to, like... No, I just, I mean, he needs exercise, so I'm gonna, like, What are you doing? Yeah, I'm I'm getting to know people in the neighborhood, uh, kind of... Tell me he's a trained crocodile. Yes, he's he's my pet crocodile. <laughs> so, you end up in an Mr. Asylum. Scaly. <laughs> um, Alright, so you're just kind of, you're just kind of keeping an eye out on the neighborhood. Alright, so I'm gonna ask found for us. A, a mind roll from you. Okay. Uh, well, I have an eight. <laughs> okay. Do you have fine? I do. Uh, you uh, have fine I think I have fine. No, I don't have fine. Because he has fine. He has fine. So you rely on him. You just have to find things. him. He finds the other <laughs> That's <thing>. correct. <laughs> uh, Lapis, what are you doing? Um, I oh, this am... This has already been, like, a great start to this, to this evening. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm worried. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> um, I am working... With the Scarlet Rose and the um, Bureau to figure out what these constellations, like, what day, time, and location it is. Okay. So what I'm going to need from you is a ma- uh, a mind or a investigation. Okay. I do not have investigation. Okay. So I guess just... Or evidence analysis? 
detective? <laughs> I got a detective. Would I be able to help with that? Uh, no, because you're out. No. Moonlighting. Yeah. <laughs> Did you want to take ev- your detective points and put them in evidence analysis? I know we've talked about it a little well, bit. Well, we talked about it, and then you're like, no, no, I've got things for detective, so keep detective, so I kept detective. As as a profession, but if yes. You, so do you do you want to switch? Do you want to split the points? Do you want to move? I around I only all? have one. Oh, okay. So no, it's fine. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll. S- if I play a card, do I get? You'll get a new one at the end of the scene. A new one at the end of the scene. Scene scene. So bef- so not like the end of this week, yeah. but like tonight. Um, I will spend a possibility point. And see if I can't bump this. Eh, okay, uh, that was a 17 total. Alright, I will come back around to you here in a second. Mark, Archibald, you make your. You spend a week um, adding to the very stuffy smells in the apartment, but you do manage to fabricate. Yeah, your your sense of smell and it's taste are out, yeah. gone. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I, I wrote down one, so I made one. We'll see how it works. Alright. But you now have that guy. The other thing in our week, one of my Iron Sheen potions, I explained to Kage, if we ever fight something ethereal, coat your sword with this. And you come back. So, write that as your Piece of equipment. Iron Sheen Potion. (laughs) Alright. So, Kage, you spend the week in just seedy dens of ill repute. Um, Gambling is going on. Flesh is being pressed. Opium. Opium. Just the whole nine yards. But you finally find someone who is willing to talk to you about the Frenchman. For a hundred. Dollars? Yes. I think I spent all 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 my money getting into that party. (laughs) Uh, I don't think that's true. No, I did. Which party are you talking the, the, about? Not that party, the the, the previous one. When oh, we the met night the I missed? Yeah. We met okay, well, I don't know what you did then. She wasn't here. I wasn't mm. here. There is money at the safe house if you wanted to. I will have gotten it from... You know, that's the money I took, remember? Yeah. You're at this. spent a hundred... You just should have some left over from that, because you didn't spend all of it. Oh, I sure did. <laughs> <laughs> I will loan you a hundred dollars. With interest. I'll take $100, and I will join a card game. So what do you want to know about the Frenchman? Where does he come from? France? (laughs) (laughs) I want my $100. (laughs) No, no. uh, Every time. Every time. NYC Mike! <laughs> <laughs> to you, Christopher, and a lifetime of gaming memories. Um, um, no, he, he comes, I mean, not like France, like it is out in Morocco. He comes from France, like you come from not around here. He showed up about six months ago. A lot of thugs, a lot of money, a lot of goods that it takes to start up a black market. About two months ago, he hooked up with the uh, the woman in red. And that's when their business really started booming. Where does he reside? Huh. He resides in the Tangier Blossom. 
cool. Which moves around. I have heard it said that when the heat has gotten too bad, he is left to go back to his uh, home. Now they said something else. Prophecy? Mm-hmm. Yes, I uh, get the feeling he is quite religious. All of the comments are trying to rush out of my mouth at the same time, and they're all kind of sticking right about here at the bottom of my brain pan. Um, I would be careful, my friend. He is not someone to mess with. Well, many many people have. I mean, Cairo is a is a city of heroes, and many of them lie buried beneath the sands, who are trying to stop him. Well, he should be careful as well. He is. One does not operate under Dr. Mobius. Dun, dun, dun! (laughs) First one of the night. (laughs) (laughs) I... But it's fine. It is fine. I am you a GM you want and subject you want to whims of yeah, my own. You want. Um, one does not operate under his his nose without uh, being well prepared. Does he have contacts in the city? Many. There are Their those in the police are... force who work for him. He has many of the local street folk and dock folk under his um, employ. I even heard that he had that some of our heroes in quotes are known to take bribes from him. Even the Jade Scale is worked from him from time to time. Any heroes in particular? Give me a d20 roll. Good luck. Four. (laughs) Negative six. I heard. I heard that, uh... Lapis. (laughs) (laughs) That you've heard this story? Well, I mean, I've heard an interpretation of it. Why don't you tell me yours? <laughs> it was done in dance. Um, <laughs> With it ribbons. Is, it is said that um, <laughs> Lapis and the Jade Scale both used to be police officers. No one knows who they were, of course. It's just a rumor of their training, the way they react to certain but it is said the reason the Jade Scale turned to a life of villainy was because Lapis betrayed him. He was working for the Frenchman at the time. Is that true? <laughs> That's just what Lapis would say to you, though. You can't trust anyone. Friendship over. <laughs> <laughs> I would be very careful. He probably already knows that you have been asking. Good. You've been stabbed, homie. Don't be so bold. That's right. <laughs> the wound is healed. Do you, Just about a flesh wound. Do you wish me to put a, a message into the Cairo underground? Not a scratch. Not a scratch. That's what he says. No. No, it's the messenger, nor you do not want me to put the message. Do not wish for you to take a message. Good luck, my friend. Let me go back to my card game. All right. Does he win any money back? Go fish. Just <laughs> <laughs> you. He's I'm playing go me. fish in a in a in the middle of a poker game. So no, he does not win his money. Back. <laughs> that interest is just going to keep building. Just so you know. Okay. Um. 
So. My good friend. Archie has prepared a <laughs> riverboat tour of Cairo on his private river yacht. His... Is it Archie? Does he go by Archie? No, sorry. Um... <laughs> Alistair? Alistair. Not okay. Archie. Archie is a different love interest. Uh, <laughs> Archie. Little Allie? A- Alistair. Um, it's Little technically my, um, my, my father's boat, but... Oh, okay, that's nice. How you know. get here? That's what I was just wondering. He transcends time. He transcends yes. time and space. Gratch also does as well. Gratch. Um, <laughs> it's right there. Sorry. <laughs> so, um, hmm. Yes, this is Cairo, and he is like a full spread out. Like caviar and champagne, um, fresh fruit. I mean, the guy went... Over the top? Overboard. That's right. Hey. But, um, <laughs> Thank you, I'll take it. <laughs> uh, I, I'm setting a bad president as a GM. Yeah, um, we'll need it later, probably. That's why he's being so generous. It kind of unnerves me a little bit. So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, What happened? To, I had to leave the party early. I yes, wasn't I feeling know. well. Oh, I'm sorry. Was it... Uh... Did I hear that something happened with fire, maybe? Yes, there was an explosion <laughs> underneath. Someone, someone set Farouk's manor ablaze. Oh no! The whole thing, the whole thing, the West Wing for sure is is no longer useful. Oh, that stinks! Uh, whoops. <laughs> yes, it was said that it was done by, um, it was done by one of Cairo's heroes. Oh, sorry, <laughs> Labis. Her cohort. Oh, yep. Dang Lapis. Daring Doers. Daring Doers, huh? Yes. They have no names, so Daring Doers may stick. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Sometimes group develop names organically. Sometimes they need a push. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Do... My father was quite upset. Why? He uh, he financed Farouk's manor. Oh, why did he finance it? Oh, my my father is the uh, he is the as I said, um, the Very first wealthy. bank of of Cairo. Mm-hmm. He he handles all of the investments for all of the uh, the upper crust. Do you ever first bank of Cairo? He do is. you ever help your father with business? <laughs> no, no. Um, mm. my father says that I have no head for numbers. Mm. Sometimes worthless, but mostly not a head for numbers. Mm. I want, I want to be a writer. You do. I do. What do you want to write? Um, I've written a couple of pieces that have been published anonymously in um, one of the Cairo newspapers. What's your pen name? Uh, I don't have one. It's right now just anonymous. Mine's big. <laughs> <laughs> And it's paper made. <laughs> oh, give, give All right. Then. <laughs> That's an old Pinky in the Brain episode. <laughs> that Listen, if the table demands that you, 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 you give your possibility back. Worth it, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. What else would I want to know? <laughs> Balancing chips in the MC thing. Did you see your ears? I mean... I don't know if you would see my ears. Are they like super long and pointy? I don't think he knows your ears. I don't really know because I don't understand this world's elves yet. (laughs) Um, I I assume you can hide them in your hair if you like. You can wear a hat. Or you can just proudly display your elven heritage. I mean, he already saw me doing some magic. But he has not put that together. But it was a costume party. Oh, that's true. I think I'm hiding it for right now. Um, So... What else would I want to know from him? Well, I mean, if you're interested, my father is holding a uh, a small family dinner tonight at sunset, and you would be more than welcome to uh, accompany me as my plus one. Sure. That'd be good to know. Maybe I can... Go shopping? Yeah, I don't know. Um, sounds great. Several of his, uh, his business partners will be there. Do any of them know me? Great question. 
the Scarlet Witch will know me or whatever. Her name is. Scarlet Witch, <laughs> the Red Woman, the, the, red the Woman in Red. <laughs> no affiliation to anyone. No, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> any resemblance to any characters owned by someone else? Strictly purely accidental. coincidental. <laughs> Do Green Witch next time. All right. Um. Okay. Yeah, I'll I'll be happy to go. Um. He just is a weird little bumbling idiot at night. He know, is. For some reason. He is. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. I love you, Christopher. I love you too, hon. All right. So, um, what is his last name? Do I figure this out? Uh, you could ask him. Yeah, what's your last name? <laughs> Wilshire. Wilshire, huh? Yes. That doesn't sound very cairo y. Um, well, I mean. We're, we're not natives. No. Where are you from? Uh, England. Mm. Me too. Ah, something in common. Something in common. There All right, go. well then tonight? Tonight I will see you for dinner. Excellent. Where should I show up? Um, he gives you an address okay. uh, to go um, to arrive at. I, if, you, if you would like, I will send you a car. Oh, yes, that'd be nice. Where are you staying at? Um, how about you pick me up at this coffee shop at X Street? Very, very well. It's close to where I'm at. I learned a long time ago you don't tell people where you live until you're serious. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Well, well, a gold then. Oh, yes. Do I need a pretty dress for this? Do you need a pretty dress for this? I think so. I think I need a dress as well. Okay. Okay. Shopping spree. Will he send me? <laughs> would you like him to send you a dress? We need yes, a shopping I montage. <laughs> I do need a shopping uh, give montage. Give me a charisma roll. Okay. <laughs> a persuasion roll. Uh, it's just a persuasion roll. Oh, that's oh. not going to be high. Do you want the information or not? I do I'm want it. I'm All right. Kidding. I'm wow. Just I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Why? This sucks. Okay. Remember that second one is ten. The second one is a ten. So and it's less than a ten. A nice old ten. Okay. Oh, sh- I mean, very well. I would be glad to send you a, a, a dress. Oh, that'd be nice. I didn't bring anything in my last dress from the costume party. Got a little bit smoky smelling. Ah. Uh-huh. But I thought you said you left before the fires. Mm. I think I might have left just when it was happening. Hmm. You know, when it was wafting up. I have a very sensitive nose. Oh. I can smell campfire in my hair for days. Mm. I hate it. <laughs> Sadie. Life imitating art. <laughs> I really do hate campfire smell. <laughs> yes. So you are wandering around the neighborhood. Trying to get to know, um, MC Fang and I are doing tricks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they uh, they can, they kind of stay away from you because you are a tall person in a burkini, and sometimes you're joined with a uh, velociraptor. Also, like they the they very quickly re- realize you're staying with Lapis. Well, they don't know who Lapis is, um, but you're staying with with the the detective. Okay. So I don't find anything out. Not so much. No. Like, you are you are off putting to say the least. Harsh. <laughs> Listen, the dice tell a story, and this one is how the neighborhood doesn't like you. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, put on some different clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Overrated. <laughs> All right, um, Lapis. Mm-hmm. So you are working with the Scarlet Rose to figure out the constellations. Mm-hmm. So. What you can tell is they're not of any actual night sky. Um, the Scarlet Rose uh, does some very sort of rudimentary tests, and she she tells you yeah, there it's an authentic sarcophagi. It's thousands of years old. I'm not entirely sure what these stars are meant to represent. There are no constellations known to us, and anyway, they. Uh, they're spread out over, like, some of them are very close, like there's a trio that are very close, there are two that are very close, 
sort of to the east of, of those and one very far off to the west. And then there's one kind of in the center where the heart, like over the heart. And the one over the heart is a sphinx. Okay. And sort of to the northwest of that, towards where like the head mm-hmm. would be, um, there is a rose. And kind of to the south, kind of down from that, is um, what looks to be like a burial mask, but it seems to you to almost look more like a circuit diagram in the shape of, of a mask. Um, up and to the left of that, there is a demon's head. Then sort of where the shoulder would be, one shoulder you can see where those two constellations are sort of next to each other. You see um, a dead tree and three four-pointed stars. And then across on the other shoulder, you see what seems to be a spearhead. Okay. And... um, The rose says, I mean, this is clearly Egypt. Mm -hmm. I would assume the Sphinx. Right. It could be the site where it was dug at. I don't know what these other ones could possibly be. With your 17 in evidence, or in, yeah, in evidence analysis, you've seen enough maps of the world. Mm Mm-hmm. Seem to line up with where the cosmic invasions happened. The Rose and Isle, the mechanical mask in France, the demon's head in Russia, the dead tree in India, the pointed stars in Pan Pacifica, and the spearhead. Mm hmm. So. In the US. Okay. But there's nothing else in that map to sh- indicate. Where Dr. Lazarus's experiment is going down that he doesn't need for his devices. Your guess is it's where the Sphinx is at. But you still haven't gone to the, the dig site. Jasmine? <laughs> hmm? Um, if I gave you a map of Egypt, would you be able to point out the dig site that you were at? I mean, I think so. We're in Cairo, right? Mm-hmm. The Sphinx just like right over there. It's right over there from modern Cairo. Nineteen okay. thirties Cairo was probably right. Small. Okay, no, that's fair. Right, it's still totally fair. And you and can see the city, but it's. I mean, it's, it's yeah, it's not in the city. It's no, no. outside. Yeah, and this doesn't look identical to the Sphinx in that's outside of Cairo. This one seems to be random. Wow. Much like. Archibald is rampant. Rampant? You see that, right? Yeah. Am I? Yeah. I think so. I just... <laughs> that's, that's the right word. Okay. A rampant line. Listen, if you keep saying it out loud, nobody's going to believe it's a word. <laughs> um, so can she point to where it is? On a map? Yeah. It's a, the, the, you know, she looks and she's like, you know, I mean, you know where the oasis is. Yes. Where you found her. It's probably another 80 miles south of that. Okay. And was there a big device there? I don't think it would be because he was sending this... Okay, did they want the sarcophagus there, or were they taking the sarcophagus somewhere else? They were taking the sarcophagus here. To Cairo. To Cairo. And does she know why? No, she still... uh, You've asked that before. She's Right. Does the what's her name know? Scarlet Rose. Yeah. You got so What card do you play? Idea. Gain a clue or insight indicating next course of action. Ow! Ow! Um. Where do we go? Do we go to the dig site, or do we have to find some other site? You could go to the dig site. That's going to give you an idea, like, that'll be where Dr. Lazarus's primary experiments are. The other thing is, you know that this was being sent to the Jade scale. Right. So, you could probably 
your idea is either go to the dig site. Okay. Or find the jade scale. Okay. I'll convene with the group then when they come back. Ah, Sadie really hasn't left once it was clear that the neighborhood didn't like her. I've been regarded with suspicion this whole time. I would lend you clothes, but... It's not gonna matter. No. (laughs) It's it's really not. (laughs) Alright. So you reconvene with the group. Okay. They seem healthier in Haler. Hey, um, I still have wounds, and so does MC Fang. No, so after oh, the week, you guys, have, okay, you guys have recovered your wounds. Just checking. Thank you. So, group, do we go to the dig site yes. out in the desert, or do we find the jade scale here? Well, I have Kyra. to go to dinner first. But I have a great card to play, so <laughs> I can't wait. Do you? So while so, she's at dinner, do we want to try to find the jade scale? That's or? a good idea. <laughs> that's awesome. It's a good idea, I think. Sure. You want to do something? I'm, you know, He's bored, dead. spitless. <laughs> so bored. <laughs> you've done, like, the one puzzle I have, like, four times. <laughs> and you've done it, like, upside down. I've I been teaching MC things. things. <laughs> I, I, right. I've yeah. noticed. Especially because it's a Rubik's Cube and she just took it apart and put it back together. Yeah. And tried it and then couldn't put it back and then took it apart. And it's now really loose. Yeah. Okay. That's how you do it. It's not how you do it, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What you do is you pop just one off and turn it, put it back in, and then frustrate your friends for the rest of their days. <laughs> That's right, until the end of time. All right, so you're going to dinner, and the rest She's of you. She's going are... alone. And the rest of us go. I mean, I don't think we're invited to the dinner, <laughs> but I just also don't think that well, she's going to be able to call for help when would something you inevitably like happens. Someone, <laughs> would you like someone to go and be nearby? Be nearby. That would probably be good. It's a banker's dinner, Do you right? Want all so. of us to go and be nearby? Well, I'm worried that. <sighs> My thing is, is, I have a feeling that the, the, red woman, of them. the red woman will be there. The red woman will be the. Woman in red will be there. Or the I think French. the Jade Scale will be there. But I don't know them. I wasn't here that night. Do I? You encountered the red woman down there. Well, I did. I saw her in the basement. I'm afraid of her. I think I'm going to do some contouring makeup <laughs> so I just look like on point. <laughs> <laughs> it look, you look like a whole different human when you contour correctly. I've seen the videos. She's already not human. No, nope, it's true. So you look like another different human. That's right, I do. Okay. Um, it's still... Uh, I think it would be... I mean, good luck. <laughs> I think it would be useful if you would, are familiar with the area were to perhaps shadow mm-hmm. Amiza just to see who else may happen to be at this dinner. It's a different era. Well, I did get a. Hmm? I got the address room. before he no, said he can give me a car, so he can give me the address. Hmm. He's sending a car for me. Then follow the car. Do you know this neighborhood? Hop across rooftops. I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I tell you the name of the house. Do you know it? Yes. You know Cairo like the back of your hand. Back of your hand. <laughs> there it is, right there by uh-huh. that freckle. She's a harsh mistress. <laughs> um. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I think somebody there would be good. I'm, here's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping we can figure out what he's financing. I'm hoping there'll be players there and we can figure out who he's giving money to next and maybe where they're moving with this sarcophagi. Would you like all of us to be there? I don't know. Is Mark done resting and taking naps? Archibald? Yes, I'm ready. You're well rested? Take naps. All he does. I do. <laughs> so he's ready to leap into action at any moment. Right. That's true. I mean, I think that it would is, be good. It's been a week since MC Fang ate anyone, so he's ready. Yeah, he's hungry. He's very hungry. So what if we do well, don't go? The and the if words, I apologize, the you know, using different NPC. something uh, happens. Then we're there, and if nothing happens and you need just some alone time, we can leave. Okay. And you said, wait, did you say his last name is Vance? Is Vance Mites, yes. 
Vance Mice. Dutch. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us how you really feel about this, Chris. <laughs> Why are you so upset? Kage. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, I think that's good. Can I? But originally, they were French Huguenots who left. Saturn. Can I cast a spell at like lower <laughs> intensity? Yeah. So maybe if I set like a little baby fireball up, that'd be like everything's fine. And a big fireball is No, that's not how fireball works. Okay. <laughs> yeah. What about lightning? What about I mean, lightning? Perhaps there's ball. a small lightning bolt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what <laughs> if <laughs> when you cast it and it goes off, it still goes off and you picked two here's, attack spells. So. Here's the thing. Uh, what true. if And detect magic. And a portal. <gasps> I can portal. I have to be 50 meters away. So <laughs> you can portal 50 meters away, which gets you a head start on running anywhere. <laughs> That's right. um, if I you have if you need way. help, light something up with the lightning bolt and we'll come in. Okay. If you okay. don't need help, don't do anything. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> we won't assume that you're in trouble. <laughs> okay. Is there somewhere we can hang out? So you grab, you grab and draw suspicion. You grab, you know, the roasted nuts, the pita bread. Mm-hmm. The records, mm-hmm. your stakeout mix. Yep. 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 Enjoy. The wineskins. Steak, stakeout snacks? The I cafe. love it. Peanut butter cookies. Here, this is something called coffee. Enjoy. <laughs> oh, I don't think I need that, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, so as I understand it, your guys' plan... <laughs> If is such to, it can be called. <laughs> is to chaperone this dinner <laughs> and be prepared to... Coming like, through the window, arms and legs again. I will blow a hole through the wall. That sounds great. If the jade scale is that, well, actually, I don't really want to take a look at the jade scale again. I don't care either. I only want you to come if they know who I am. They're going to try and kill me. That's my only alert. That's danger time. Or it's your backup character. I don't have a backup character. This is who I want to be. Yet. I don't want to die. <laughs> Make no promises. I'll be a Misa 2.0. <laughs> a Misa cyborg a Misa. <laughs> <laughs> Russian cyborg. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I got, um, okay. Yeah. Alrighty. I mean, yes. She would like backup. We will go and back her up. And after the dinner, I mean, we can always go look for the Jade Scale tomorrow. Yeah. Well, hopefully we'll find out exactly where they're at. Or where they're headed tonight. That's what I'm hoping. I mean, if this, if his father basically finances everybody in the area, including maybe, Dr. Morpheus. Well, maybe this is going to be at his house. <laughs> we <laughs> might be able to sneak into some offices and look for some records. That'd be smart. Without some I thought about fires. doing that. I mean, I thought about oh, doing so that at the party. She's myself. starting a fire there. Alistair's heart. <laughs> she was not pointing at Amiza. <laughs> technically, the Frenchman started it. Yeah. The Frenchman started the fire. I just didn't put it out. <laughs> <laughs> yes. This is going through my head. True. Yep, yeah, <laughs> nope. Bad precedence has been set. <laughs> Thank you. You're right. welcome. Yo. Okay. Head doesn't be too heavy right, that would be embarrassing. All right, so <laughs> who is watching Amiza? Who is breaking into the offices of the Frenchman or of uh, the Frenchman? No, I'm of so Alistair of read the it. Van Smythe. My estate. original thought was to do that. That's part of why I went. So yes, please go do that, and then I'll I'll I distract will... them downstairs with my. Who wants to break in? Lapis is the one who would recognize the Jade Scale. She would. So I should probably watch. So she needs to surveil. I can go look. The Frenchman might be there. These two? I think. <laughs> or these hey, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. I Hage know. is a master of stealth, we've established. Yes. yes. The stealth is not the problem. <laughs> Do you, you have stealth? Send these stealth two is dex, or right? Yeah. Two? I'm a master <laughs> of stealth. That's right. Okay, yes, yeah, he can totally know. chop things. Yeah. He can break pick locks. Desks. I can pick locks. Uh, oh, that's right. You can't pick locks. You, you totally pick locks. Do you want to go with him, or are we sending. Um, if you send Archibald and they find something that Kage can't fix, Archie's got dynamite. It's trash tag. He's got dynamite. He's, he's got gonna, dynamite? He's going to just <laughs> roll up dynamite? half of the house. And Basically, I'm going to try and put you in as many situations as I can for him to use that dynamite, dynamite before a fight breaks out. Rude. <laughs> hey, you hear there's crocodiles in the Nile. You should probably go tell them like that. <laughs> <laughs> Two birds, one stick of dynamite. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. So you're watching. You're sneaking. You're dating. Dating. <laughs> I guess I'm watching. All right. So you guys are on stakeout. You, I'm MC Fang and I are going to go help Kage. I'm flirting it up. I Joy. don't see um, it. I, go wrong I at feel all. like you need to tell me since I rolled so poorly. What kind of dress does he put me in? Oh, don't worry. I will. Oh, oh, don't worry, I will. <laughs> I thought it was time to get dressed already. It's amazing. Uh, <laughs> Old Princess Leia. Oh, no. So, <laughs> no, it arrives, <laughs> and you realized two things. One, Alistair nailed your measurements, <laughs> but not your taste. Oh, uh, yeah. So it's super high-necked. It is... S- some topish color that has a little bit too much pink to be taupe, but not enough to be rose. Mm. And it has a big flat, like rose petal, um, built in seat cushion. Does it have a you. bustle? <laughs> yeah. And yes. it has a bustle. A bustle. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, Kate, you're not wearing the bustle. <laughs> 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 All right. No? Tombstone? All right. Uh, all right. Well, looks. Can I rip off said bustle? <laughs> okay. It's it's a it's a built-in fashion accessory. <laughs> yeah, but it does come with a super tiny and not usable purse. <laughs> That's fine. Is it a long dress or it's short dress? It's very long, and it has um, like hoops. Oh. Yeah. Is that a thing in the 20s still? Yeah. Okay. Um. All right. Well, I it guess that allows me to put a dagger <laughs> on my thigh, at least. Yes, uh, yes but getting it. You can't, yeah, you won't be able to get to it. Um, you I'll might be able to hide it in a bustle. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> I mean, you just flash people. It's fine. Okay. Well, that's then. not how hoops work. Work. You don't get to just, like, stack them up. <laughs> yeah, it's not like a slinky. Because like, then they'll come out to here, and you still can't like get to it. Yeah, but you can still fold it up. Because I've worn it's a small. skirt you can just at the Renaissance of it. Fair. <laughs> That's right. You can, can techno drum this thing, right? But if these are like 1930s <laughs> hoops, they're not going to like get smaller. They're going to always be that much around, and so yeah, because it's just like a metal frame. frame. It's actually it's, frame. it's more that you won't be able to like get around it. You're gonna have to bustle it or right. hide it in your tiny. Um, Purse. Nearly purse. useless purse. I'll put it in my muscle. Okay. Although that seems dangerous. Me, I don't want to step <laughs> on it. I guess I won't have it. No one ever thinks that it could be dangerous. But it is. <laughs> <laughs> I know it is. I'm not going to put it on my butt. So I'm just going <laughs> to use my magic and kill people if I need to. Right. That's why you got magic, right? That's right. I already learned I can set a building on fire with lightning. So. You... That was not the lesson I was hoping you'd learn from that, but... <laughs> lessons were learned. <laughs> There's a reason castles in England are made of stone. That's right. All right. Um, so the car arrives. It is a gorgeous Rolls Royce. Of course it is. Thank you, sir. My lady. Thank you. Kind of. I don't think they're through. that quiet. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so JD, I need a clip of that. So anytime that I honk a horn in the Nile Empire, it just plays Gaurga. There's a lot of stop and go traffic here. Apparently, it is. Well, you it's guys, quite easy to stay with. You them. have no issue. <laughs> um, keeping you get honest. ahead of her. Yeah, <laughs> some, right. Sometimes she loses you, but you always know where she's at. Um. The Van Smythe Estate is is a walled, uh, it's, a, it's a small four-story building that is walled off, mm-hmm. um, sort of in the center of the nicer district, like right on the edge of the nice and business district of Cairo. Okay. And the gates open up for you, and the car goes in and kind of goes in and around, and they let you out. So the question is, is how... <laughs> All right. Ready to throw Archie, you are launched into the air. Um, <laughs> what are your guys' plans? How are you going to keep an eye on? Um, Is Misa? there a building across the way that I can get up on the roof? Oh yeah, uh, I do. Do you have binoculars? Yeah, I have binoculars. Oh, thanks. 
Um, yeah, to watch through binoculars. Okay. All right, so the two of you get to the rooftop across the street. It's still 200 feet to the building, but with your binoculars, you're able to find... I look through my targeting scope. I was say, I <laughs> that also, makes you feel safe. I also have a <laughs> rifle, the KK-81, so does that have a scope on it? Mm-mm. No, okay. No, it's more of a... Um, All right, so you guys get up to the roof, and you can see where the dinner is being held. And it's being held kind of in this open-air room um, with a view of the Nile that kind of extends out onto a a very small balcony on the second floor. And they've got the the sun doors open, and you can see the the curtains kind of are fluttering softly in a breeze. Their servants setting out Mm -hmm. a nice dinner. And... um, there are seven seats set around the table. Okay. Alistair meets you at the uh, at the door. <laughs> Thank you very much. He holds out a single rose for you. Beautiful. What color is it? Uh, red. No. <laughs> um, it looks like it wanted to be red. But not quite. Okay. Yeah. Um, what shall we? I will introduce you to Father before we go into... Um, yes, that'd be very nice. He offers you his arm. Take it. Uh, he kind of leads you in. There's the... the um, it's very sort of... Austere? Mm-hmm. Like, it's not gaudy or showy... Um, but he leads you to a small staircase, and you head up, and there is a um, older, balding, portly man with glasses, and he's kind of looking over a ledger, um, sitting at a at a roll top desk. Uh, Father, what is it? Uh, this is this is um, Amiza. She's my my plus one for dinner tonight. And he looks up, and he kind of looks over his. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Pleasure to meet you, sir. The pleasure is all mine. He looks at his son, he looks at you, he looks at his son, he looks at you. I find your son ridiculously adorable. (laughs) No need to try so hard. I'm sure he'll waste some of my money on you. And he goes back to the ledger. (laughs) Oh, snap. Mm-mm. <laughs> you gotta yeah. see Alistair kind of well come we shall go enjoy the view I'll be in there shortly must complete what I'm working on can we see them uh, you can see them no now they come into the, the dining All right. area so we can tell you guys where the study is like it's on that side of the can I see what's in the ledger you can't uh, so I, well, I think yeah. all range penalties away. Yeah, I understand that, but the, but but just the way like Sightlines. Uh, there are no like he's got a window. You, his back is to the window. The ledger is flat on the desk. He's so obscuring the ledger. Maybe if yeah. you look at like where his glasses are and like reflect now. <laughs> no. <laughs> his scope. Is an eighteen hundred like eighteen ninety <laughs> scope. So you're lucky that you can see at this far at this point. <laughs> um Alright. You guys see three more cars pull up. How are you guys getting into the estate? Well, they have told us that they can see where the study is. Uh but they've also told us that he's still in there, so figured we went and like found our spot and you guys were waiting. We can run downstairs, tell you what we know, and say good luck. Okay. Well, we'll tell you when he leaves, goes to dinner, and then we'll say, okay, it's clear. Now you can go up, and it's, you know, up three over one. That window is the one you want to go into. Um, is there a service entrance at this uh, estate? You can go around and look. You can go look for the service I will go look for a service entrance. Okay. Teach MC Fang to hold a tray of drinks. <laughs> He balances it on his head. I yeah. told you we've been practicing tricks. Again, <laughs> again, they're 
There may be penalties to any stealth rolls within the loss around. <laughs> I'm just gonna toss the hug. There's the really shadow. If we learn anything, he's, he's just gonna guard. He's not gonna stealth with us. All right, there is a service entrance. It is currently locked. If only you could unlock it. If only there were lockpicks somewhere in this vicinity. You gonna give me the roll? Yeah. Where are you going? Oh no! No, no. It's, uh... <laughs> You jinxed it. He got a one. <laughs> oh. Second chance. Immediately reattempt any action. New test takes place with a failed one. This may be played after a mishap. Negating any effects before they occur. But... <laughs> yeah. Sorry. May I? Sorry. May yeah, I? go for it. At least it's not a one. You, you can roll possibility. We're, I feel like we're making this way more complicated than it needs to be. I'm following instructions. 16? 16. Oh, yeah, these things, you know. We really needed a two, but... Kind of, you need... Yeah. The door opens to the kitchen. You can see there there are some people kind of uh, they're preparing uh, what seems to be <laughs> um, roast fowl of some sort, and mm. they're currently like mm. basting it and getting ready to take it upstairs. They do not see you. However, you had a good success on that, so the door opens silently. I will slip in. Okay. You need stealth rolls from those who are going inside. Does the smell of roast beef overpower <laughs> Come on. and see Hang's desire to eat? Um, does a nine stealth? Min- uh, default is always going to be ten. Do roll it again? Are you kidding me? Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, well. There we go. We've got a 16. You are fine. That's a good success. Thank you. Uh, 20. All right. An outstanding. All right. You guys slip in the servant centers and find morning? your way kind of around the kitchen. Meanwhile... As you as you wait, um, Alistair's father comes in. I have my apologies. I'm Sir Alistair Van Smythe the second. Familiar with my offspring. Thank you for coming to dinner tonight. Um, my pleasure. You so have a lovely host. I know that you are busy, so I'm sorry to have interrupted you. No, it is. It is. There is no need for rudeness on my part. You guys saw that he pulled the the shutters closed and doused, doused the lights. Um, I'm sure you're very busy. Your son tells me that you are in trade with many people. He does. She was at Farouk's party. Oh. Yes. Mm-hmm. What? Yes, I. Uh, we have been lucky enough that Van Spites landed on their feet when they came to Cairo. Yes. We have several, several. We won't mention the people that were under their feet that they landed on, <laughs> but that's. Okay. I'd like to thank all of the little people that I stepped on to get here because I'll most likely be stepping on you on my way down. <laughs> um. <laughs> please have a seat. Uh, we'll be starting dinner soon. You can see servants are bringing in trays of food. Everything smells spectacular. Delicious. And, um, other people start. Um, funneling in. Um, there are a pair of um, gentlemen who are in uh, very uh, expensive looking um, suits of kind of the Cairo cut. They seem to be identical twins. Um, there is a, a woman um, who does not seem to be um, wearing red. Egyptian. <laughs> she, but she is in like cargo pants and kind of a like a dirty khaki um, shirt, wide brimmed hat, and she just kind of sits down opposite you and Archibald, or sorry, you and Alistair. Mm-hmm. You're Archibald. Every time I look to you, the A name shifts. <laughs> um, so the twins are sitting opposite you guys. Are they Egyptian? They are Egyptian. The um, 
the woman sits next to them. And then finally, um, a a man in sort of, they're nice, but they're not like fancy, like plain clothes, kind of what you would see everyday people running around in Cairo walks in. Amen. Good. Have a seat. Amen? Amen. Do I recognize Amen? You do not. However, you recognize Amen. I was just saying, Amen. are the shutters open? Or? The shutters are open here. Oh, I thought he no, pulled no, the drapes. He pulled the, the office. office. In the, office. office. the oh, dinner's okay. in the open air, kind okay. of some columns, yeah, yeah, yeah. open area. Amen mm-hmm. is the jade scale. It's his real name. So mm-hmm. you see him walk in and sit down next to Amiza. Okay. Do I it's recognize funny. Alistair's father from the one room we peeked in when we were making the deal? You do. Do you write, does he recognize any of these other people? Oh, he mm-hmm. was that guy. Huh? Alistair's dad was the one making the deal upstairs? He was one of the, the people... Eyeball? He was one of the people who was making the deal with a guy who didn't have an accent. With the... It was about smuggling the kids, right? Was he in that Getting room? people smuggled into Israel. It was about okay. getting people smuggled into Israel. It was outside the trouser. Okay. Interesting. All right. For now. We definitely... Sh- Ellie shared this information, so I tell you that's the Jade scale, and you tell me. Yeah, he was the one who was in that room when we were at the party making the deal. Are you guys in the room together? We're We're up on the roof roof together, yeah. Uh, We'll live. We're not in the building. (laughs) (laughs) Don't worry. And when you throw the dynamite 200 yards, like, it's going to be fine. We're outside (laughs) the blocks, right? Um, (laughs) All right. So, as you guys creep up the stairs to the office. Do you recognize the twins? You do not. As you guys creep up the stairs to the office, you arrive at the office door. It's all quiet inside. Dark. You can smell the oil lamp that's just been put out. Dinner is about to be served, and you two are across the street, each recognizing someone around the table. And that's where we're going to take our break for right now. Dun, we'll... dun, dun. <laughs> Breaks are just as dramatic as <laughs> Dr. Moe. Dire reveal. Dun, dun, dun. Thank you. Uh, so we will be, be back in 20 minutes. We're going to take our break. Stretch our legs. Get some drink. And we will see what happens when all of these three threads combine after our break. Uh, thanks for watching. This is Iconic Production. We'll be back here in 20. And we're back. So when we last left off, Mark had hurled dynamite into the <laughs> dining room. <laughs> No, that's not what... I, all right, never mind. Um, so when we last <laughs> left off, you guys were standing at the door to the office. You guys were... Or you were in the, dinner. in the dinner. And you two were watching from afar. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I know. Binoculars. <laughs> you're, you're, you're at the door, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. You're I was, inside. I, okay. this, I just wanted to come uh, in. <laughs> Most um, people do. So, so dinner begins. Okay. And conversations... To use. What was that? I know which forks to use. You do know which forks to use. Mm-hmm. There are... There, there's a, there's a series... You know, there are a lot of small talk. The two... The two twins, or the twins are talking. I feel like two twins was redundant. The twins, I'm going to tighten up my language. Um, uh, they converse mainly with um, Alistair's father in Egyptian, kind of back and forth. Um, the woman across. Did I know Egyptian? Probably not. No. Oi, what are you doing here? What are you doing All here? up. Ooh, good What are you doing here? I was invited. As was I. Yeah. Are you with Third? What? With Third is what they call me. It's Sir Alistair Van Smythe the second. Oh. Alistair Van Smythe the third. third. That's what I said. Yes. Are you with plus one? More than that. Oh. <laughs> About time. <laughs> this is sister. And your name was person to your left who was introduced as Aman. <laughs> Crap. Amiza. Amiza. You 
You look familiar to me. Have we met before? You look familiar to me as well. Maybe we saw each other on the street once. Mm. I have a good memory for that. I feel like if we had communicated, I would know you better. That is fair. Amon, how is your, uh, did you those funds reach you? Yes, we have. Everything goes according to the timetable. We have just the one piece left to find. I, uh, my men are acquiring it as we speak. Good, good. I'm sure the good doctor will be happy to hear about that. Shit! Um... I'm sorry, what business do you do? I just, I hate sitting at a table feeling like the idiot. Mm. I mean, what do you have? Is this another <laughs> monologue card? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gosh, monologue, 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 monologue. I mean, it's not a monologue, but you just have to tell me some knowledge. That's right. This is a, uh, <laughs> the Cosm card, Triumphant Boast. So, um, I'm in, um, Securities. Oh, interesting. Currently, we have a contract going on on the uh, pyramids, uh, the Giza site, not far from here. The uh, Sir Alistair was uh, kind enough to provide extra funds to procure uh, the power requirements that my team needs. That's interesting. Are you restoring them? What are you What are you trying to do with them? We are. <laughs> my employer has need of some of the rooms inside the Sphinx. Oh, I didn't realize that there were still rooms inside the Sphinx that you could get into, and that would have a use. <laughs> So one, in the Nile Empire, all of the old pyramids and, and, and obelisks and stela are stele, tomato, tomato, tomato. Um, are had been restored like they were restored when the Cosm came through. So okay. the pyramids look new, and okay. there's actually a lot more of them than existed in our world before the Cosm came through. Okay. Um, not for the general public, but um, the good doctor has uses for it. Forgive my ignorance. I'm from a different country. I'm still trying to get used to your... What country are you from? England as well. What brings you here? Work. To the Nile Empire. <laughs> Pleasure. Looking for a <laughs> I'm looking for a rich husband. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well you just made this <laughs> test more difficult than him. The third right. perks up. <laughs> you, <laughs> you two. Alright, so uh, we're listening at the door to see if uh, we can hear anything in the office. Give me a roll. What kind of roll? And this would be a fine roll. Okay, but listen. Fine wasn't great last time. It really wasn't. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just do speaking. I don't think you are. You don't sound sorry. Maybe at you should have gotten rid of this and taken it. Actually, it'll just instead. be it's just a like you don't hear anything on the other side of the door. Okay. Um, every so often you hear sort of a like kind of a soft rustle, but there's no kinda of like scales on old parchment. <laughs> He's guarding our I exit. Will try the door. Is it locked? It is. Lock picking. Need some dynamite? <laughs> oh, that 20. Take it uh, explodes. <laughs> <laughs> the door does explode. No, that's not what you're talking about. Oh, the die. It would it would be good. exciting if it did. 23. Oh yeah. This isn't even Smooth as silk. 
No, really, it was unlocked. Yeah. <laughs> it was unlocked the whole time. You have now locked it. That's how good you are at this. <laughs> um, you open the door, and again, there is... Uh, it's it's a very kind of... like The desk is the nicest thing in the room, but it's not, like, fancy. It's just very well made. The roll top is down. Um, there are several bookshelves that hold little little pieces of art that were taken off of dig sites. And in the corner, there is a tall, um, there's a tall shape. It seems to be draped. Tall shape that's draped. Just so you know, I, I like the character of Kage. I'm looking forward to meeting your next character. You say I'm gonna die. She could die. <laughs> um, there are two of us in the room. Either one of us. I will go towards the draped shape. Okay. What are you doing? doing? That's what I'm saying. I am gonna try the roll top desk, although I suspect it is locked. It is locked. Do you wanna try and it doesn't matter what you mean. Do you wanna try and force it? <laughs> Um, I could unlock that. Don't break it. Okay, but are you busy? Busy? <gasps> Stop <Swap>. on your way. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Do you want to take off the drink? I don't. I think right. it's just. A I will try to unlock the uh, the roll like top. Every so often, like as you like switch spaces with him, you hear that kind of rustling noise coming from under the drape. Yeah, uh, it's a twelve. It could be a bird. It's a twelve. You for my unlock. Maybe it's a yeah. dragon. Even at the at the uh, increased difficulty, pull up Take and you can see is. a thick I need it. leather le- ledger. Take some photographs. Thick leather ledger. Five times fast. Red <laughs> leather, yellowed le- ledger. Nope, didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> keep, keep trying. Keep trying. I just I mean, take no, it. but it's like you can't take it with you. You can't. He can't know you guys were here. Come on. You take it with you. I'm gonna take it with you. All right. Why would you do that? Because it has information in it. Take some photos or write it down. I don't have a little... Can I just lift the edge and see... Can you You just write some things down? Yep, you can see, like, like, uh, like the four legs. They're going to know everything. Like a a, a pretty hefty metal stand. They're going to know that I'm corrupt. You're corrupt? Yeah. Don't blow my cover here. You're not in here. (laughs) I I just... I feel like if I... If I... If I... Whip the sheet off. Ka-ka! It's gonna really piss Ka-ka! off whatever's in the cage. Yeah, don't do that. I think you should leave the sheet on. Especially if it's like a cockatrice. <laughs> or a parrot. You could leave the sheet alone. No. I was hoping for a dragon. Mm-hmm. A I baby mean, dragon. I could leave the sheet alone. Mm-hmm. And we could just leave with our stolen leather ledger. I told him but... you couldn't take wow. it. Wow! <laughs> just showed me up. <laughs> do I take it or do I just look through it? Because and, and... you didn't say thick. Rip out anything pertinent. Thick leather ledger. Why are you ripping things out? You like You're supposed to leave minimal <laughs> impact that you were here. Take it. Are you never a boy do scout? You Good heavens. He was a boy scout. Do what you should do. Even Archie has a notebook to take notes. Yeah. Kage doesn't. Do it in your brain then. I flipped through the ledger. Do it. <laughs> Just kind of. Yeah, it's a tech level 15 item. All right. Um, it, kind of looking at the most recent. Uh, there is a massive payout. Um, there seems to be a, a lot of reoccurring things to um, a a, a uh, line item known as that is reads uh, balance feather ink. As you kind of go through it over the last. Two weeks, close to two hundred thousand pounds has been transferred out there, and they're always for um, they're in large amounts, no less than like thirty thousand. Okay, and you'll see things for you know supplies, trucks, power, that sort of thing. There's a lot of stuff in here. Several Dr. M payouts, both debits and credits. Dr. M. That's what it says in the ledger. Um, as well as 
um, to Farouk. Is well, that your guy's name? Who's the friend of Oh, wait, 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 we burned his house down. <laughs> <laughs> house. There is, uh, there are several entries. They are all money taken in from an FM. French man. Or Farouk. M last name. <laughs> I don't know if we... I feel like you said his last name He was just Farouk the first, so... (sighs) It is Farouk the first. You didn't catch his name. Abdiel, first Cairo Bank. Mm -hmm. I am. Farouk Abdiel. It'd be F-A. Yeah, F in the spectrum. Yeah. (laughs) That's the only logical solution. Alright, what else is in this office? Again, artifacts, little statues, pieces of art, jewelry, um, definitely taken from dig sites. Do I notice anything pattern wise about the uh, Give pieces? Me a find roll. Oh, for God's sake, Jam. Put some points in find, that's all I'm saying. Yeah, Look I, for Look I for hear you. Thank you. <laughs> um, 12. 12. Um, you don't really notice a pattern, but as you kind of go around, you do see one that seems out of place. A heavier statue of Horus. It's just off kilter. Like somebody else has been in here messing with? Like it's been moved and not put back right where it belongs. I go move the statue. All right. Um, <laughs> so you move it. There is a there is a button underneath the statue, kind of recessed yes. in into the the bookshelf. Danger, danger. I don't know. I have a button. I think we should push it. <laughs> is, it is it a big red button? It is neither big nor red, but it is a button. It's it's classy. We're in a classy house. Just saying. If it were a big red button, we'd have to push it, but... This is easy on it. Yes. Okay, fine. We press the easy. button. You press the button? Yes. All right. You guys hear a click in the floor, and a section of the floor flips up. Okay. It did not drop us into yes. the crocodile pit, so there's that. Uh, why do we even have that button? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have that? No. Uh, there's a safe in the floor. Ooh, another ledger. Look at that one. Another chance to lock it. <laughs> Go for it. We'll come back to you in a second. Give me the roll so I know what it is. Can I read lips? Sure. I'm that 20. Sorry. Cool. So I was able to read what Amon said to Emiza. Um, no, because their backs are to you guys. <sighs> Why'd you say it like that? <laughs> <laughs> so I can't read anything useful. Um, Perhaps... Somebody else is having an interesting conversation. <laughs> yeah, Alistair, the second. What are the twins talking about? Because you do speak Egyptian. Uh, um, I do. In this. They are speaking about the mean girl. a uh, smuggling uh, that the, to make sure that the, the money that they paid Alistair went to the pilot. Okay. Yes. And as soon as we have secured the peace from here, we will. Um, it will be delivered to you, and you will take it on to Israel. Have you secured people in the other locations? We are working on it. Um, Alistair or Archibald? See, I'm not the only one who does it. <laughs> um, they're talking about securing the peace. Y- you don't think that's the sarcophagus, do you? I don't. I think so. You go through the whole conversation. Mm hmm. They want to get into Israel. They need mm-hmm. to smuggle people in. I think they want to extend the grid into they Israel. do with the sarcophagus. So the device, I think, is. Another. Stila. And the sarcophagus wasn't indicative of being a Stila, it was a piece of a circuit. Piece right? of a circuit. And 
I think we need to go to the Sphinx. Uh, I think so. With my dynamite. Uh, I think so. Okay. <laughs> if only I could read what Amiza and Amon were talking about. <coughs> I'll tell you. <coughs> also, he's super upset he's here. It's fine. <laughs> he could shoot him. Did you see that guy? He's got a next scope to up Misa. already. Can you just shoot him in the back of the head? <laughs> uh, when the time comes, yes, I can. Like now? I don't think you can. That's a really far shot. He's Archibald. You're going to kill me. <laughs> or the third. That is a when risk I am it. willing to take. <laughs> Let's look up the rules on Amy. <laughs> it's All right, while you look at that. And you get um, plus two. Plus four. Please what you kind of me. get is that Alistair... Well, he's not, definitely not a financial or, you know, sort of villainous, um, nefarious sort of character. He kind of takes all of their ribbing and good fun. Like, he's very kind of like, um, um, he wants to know if you're enjoying your meal. Mm -hmm. Um, He's solicitous. Maybe. It's easy to ignore him when you're filthy rich. So, I have a feeling he's smarter than you think he is. Yeah, I think so. I think he plays it off. I think so, too. I think he's the most dangerous man in that room. No, he's not. <laughs> the Jade Scale is. No, no. What if he's really the Jade Scale? I'm not. I don't think so. <gasps> bum, bum, bum! <laughs> it is the Nile Empire. Let's um, find out who the Jade Scale really is. <laughs> he would have gotten away with it too if it hadn't been for you kids and your velociraptor. Um, and the kids and the velociraptor. You hear that, Scooby? <laughs> roll, roll. <laughs> Sorry. Suddenly you wonder what has been in those uh, thing snacks I that mean, Sadie has been eating. Amiza to say Jinkies real quick. <laughs> Jinkies. Um, if you'll excuse me, I must uh, excuse myself from dinner. Sir Van Smythe, it has been wonderful, but I have things to attend to. It has come to my attention that uh, we are very close to securing that other piece. It was left lying around. Ah! Dun, dun, Who's dun. getting up? I'm the on! Oh, the Jade I'm on, gets out. You tell me he to bows shoot. very deeply. When he stands back up, I've been aiming, I'm just gonna go. And... All right. I don't think you should be doing... Do none of you remember that you weren't supposed to kill people? You were just supposed to be my backup? Not, like, killing, stealing? I was before we knew the Jade scale yeah, was there. So it would be minus four to his armor. With an armor. adamantine bullet? Yeah. Jeez, are you killing you Wolverine over there? What are you doing? <laughs> Yes. Through and through. Wrong comic. <laughs> Alright, you guys hear a gunshot. <laughs> At least you hear the sports first. I got, I got a 20 on my lock picking. Nice. <laughs> it's but when that when that shot goes off, you kind of got a little tinnitus. Wow. No, you had an outstanding success. You you mm-hmm. it's one, two, three. When you open it, there is a. It, it, the seat is much larger than the door. Mm-hmm. You're guessing there's probably twelve thousand dollars in here. There is a series of small notebooks, six of them, and there is something wrapped in a black piece of cloth. The ledger? Yeah. I leave exactly where it was. Okay. You Stuff in the safe? Down. Yep. I take. Not, okay. not the money. No. I take some of the money. <laughs> <laughs> we okay. can't carry that much money. And th- there was just a shot. We have to lock this up and go. I'm sure it's all paper with money, right? Yeah. Pounds. I take a thousand dollars. Okay. Pounds. You take a thousand. Two thousand? Two thousand? How, many, how many is that? How many thousand? Is it, is it all in ones? <laughs> <laughs> it's all in singles. This is his, uh, his secret stash. This is his stash. <laughs> so you, you take a ton. Two thousand pounds? I'll take two thousand pounds. All right. Thank you. Um, what'd you get on your roll? Twenty-three. 
Yeah, you did. Oh, he's got I'm surprised we're going to start to do... Because we've never surprised anyone before. Um, well, you have an outstanding success, so go ahead and roll... Wait, Dude, 23? Yeah, no, but how far yeah. away Sorry, is a good he? success. I mean, how far away is that? It's like... Um, I have an imaging part. scope. It reduces... Or, what does it take the range penalty to? Uh, it's a... It's a so I put minus two penalties. So if it redu- if it just reduces the the range penalty um, from that was my quick note. Let me look up. Yeah. All right. Target show. Would uh, you like an well, adrenaline to add three to your dexterity, strength, or related skill total? Let's finish this. Mark, don't give him yeah. anything to make him more successful. Killing Why? people at so, my dinner party. Scopes are low power telescopes that I'm never going to get invited uh, back. <laughs> you are not a when part of it. With the <laughs> it's like because it's option, outside. The character you ignores the, the first victim. two points of range penalties for him. Just so okay, and what's the range on your, just your weapon? Like those, those yeah. women hold on, guys, hold on. What's the range on your weapon, Mark? Uh, 51 200. 51 200. So you are at long range, so it's okay. normally minus four. Okay. You're at the plus four. And you're at you ignore two of the penalties, so you're at a total of plus two to your roll. Okay, so it would have been twenty one. Does that change? That is still a good success. So would a twenty four be a better success? A twenty four would be a outstanding success. Okay. So two d six extra. Oh, man, it's going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am diving on the floor. That's fair. Screaming, screaming, uh, grabbing nineteen Archibald. points of damage. No. Ignores four points of arm. Oh, Nineteen Alistair. points of Dang damage. Dang it! You all did it to me. <laughs> I'm sure to use some possibilities to soak. Um, he has no armor on. He's got a tuxedo on. Well, he's sure ignoring armor. his armor anyway. But you shoot him in the face. All right, <laughs> there is definitely a blood splatter across the table. <gasps> he hits the ground. Shot. He starts crawling towards the door. We're all screaming. I'm screaming. I'm on the ground. I pull Alistair with me. Alistair kind of, g- <laughs> kind of. Does he protect me? The li- yeah, he he lands on top of you. The lights <gasps> kind of dim. It's a moment. Careless whisper <laughs> plays, <laughs> and then as it turns out, he's screaming too. She has a romance no. card. <laughs> oh yeah, well, he says he, he's already. In love he says with don't, you. don't 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 worry. This this sort of thing happens happens a lot, and I was pretty <laughs> sure that that. Um, <laughs> That something was going to happen. <laughs> Our school's going to spin across well, the table. I'm pretty, I'm pretty, See, <laughs> it's a normal dinner. And this sort of thing happens all the time. Spice. You think we'd keep it indoors? <laughs> keep it indoors, <laughs> Alistair. Um, it's okay. I was expecting this to happen tonight. Just stay down. Be okay. We're expecting this to happen and you invited me? <laughs> well, I, I kind of sort of had to. And he kind of smiles, and there is a <laughs> flash of lightning and the stench of ozone, and and Amon is gone, and instead there stands the jade scale with the staff that has the scales on it. You can see there is some blood under his armor, and he's like, "Get down!" And the the um, the woman kind of kicks the like lifts the heavy table, and so. All of the food hits, but you guys are now on the inside of the heavy table, and you can oh, see good. that the the underside of the table is lined with metal. Oh. And it's keeping us alive. There is also the bomb shelter. Um, well, we've moved right after you shot. There him. is also a um, right? a, a rifle shot? underneath that she kind of grabs. Did she ever tell me her name? She did not. You did not ask. I did really say. Did. I said, "Who are you?" She didn't answer. She did not. Answer. She's alligator done. D U. Who's this girl over here with this yeah. gun? What is happening? Just, just stay down. It's going to be okay. And you start hearing gunshots from above you. You guys hear gunshots as well. Oh, the jade cool. scale starts flying towards. Okay, you. we've flying. <laughs> we've <laughs> okay. Yeah. They're oh, repelling, the they're repelling down the building and tearing away. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we we like ran inside and are going down the stairs. So we're gonna. Would you like to cut Run. the deck as you accused me last time? So, <laughs> um, shenanigans? Um, shenanigans? Game master. That's me. Yes. That is uh, me. 2,000 pounds. Yes. The six notebooks and the wrapped object. Oh, that no. is what I'm taking. That was your oh, down. Becca. That's what I wrote down. <laughs> and then the rest, right? There's 10,000 pounds left in there. So, mm-hmm. this yeah. is the one you drew? Yeah. All right. I'm going to cut it to here. It doesn't seem happy. 
villains first, but oh. heroes will get an up. All right, at least we got an up. I'm not helping you guys. All right. How, how bad do you want this fight? The jade scale comes <laughs> flying right at this. you. I'm not helping anybody. Green Nimbus. Like myself alive. Roaring. He is pissed. He so, is pissed. Like P I S S E D pissed. Just, just like all that. All capital letters. <laughs> all capital letters. Yeah. Bold is, with exclamation point and it's underlined. That oh, is a we should do this. lot of <laughs> stuff going on. Just a lot of stuff going do on. Do I get to play a Cosm card at any time, or do I have to wait till my turn? Uh, what Cosm card are you playing? Law of Action. All Storm Knights may immediately play two Destiny cards into their action pool. Okay. I just, I feel, I feel that we are going to need it. <laughs> what? Excellent. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right. I mean, I don't really regret this. Did I get another one to make up for the one that I gave to Archie before he uh, shot somebody? <laughs> um, you, as you guys are booking it two. back across the room, you had to play two. He just roars, Lapis! Oh God! <laughs> and it's coming for you. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's that's why I wasn't there. That's why you are still. That's why you guys shouldn't have shot him. I mean, I don't know why you thought you could kill him. He's like the god or something. He's not a god. He's a hero. Him. Yeah, you wounded him. You totally wounded him. Blood. Good job. <laughs> he is also pissed at you. Just going <laughs> to toss that out there on a scale of one Random to pissed at you. Soldier. He doesn't he like you at all. He's pissed at you. <laughs> um, you. All right. Uh, you see him raise the scales above his head and the... Uh, they start energy starts balancing between the two, and you know what's coming. I do. This is awful. It is. <laughs> I get between him and Archibald. Uh, it'll hit both of you. Okay. As, as uh, we're we're adjacent. The blast of set <laughs> is what comes I just want to like directly. Those words mean something. <laughs> we're adjacent. <laughs> Those words do do have meaning. Uh, I mean, as all words do. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I got this. I know what I'm doing. One. Um, he hits both of you with the area of effect. Okay. Uh, Lapis, your dodge is 13, so he hits you with uh, a good success. Okay. Archie, your dodge is 15, which means he only hits you with a base success. Hooray. <laughs> Better than nothing. Uh, this is AP4, so please keep that in mind when uh, you tell me what your toughness is. Armor piercing. Um, Archie, what's your toughness minus four to your armor? Well, since I only have one point of armor, it's eight. So that will be... Three. You will take two shock. Um, so it just is minus four to armor, not to toughness. Just your armor, yep. Okay, eight. Uh, you will take two shock as... Oh, wait, no, he rolled higher for you. Yeah. Sorry. Um, eight. Uh, you will take a wound and two shock. And I will use my force field to negate that. All right. You can negate those two shock for you. Yay, enhancements, as long as you're adjacent to an ally. All right. <laughs> the rest um, are sucking, but what? The rest are sucking, but uh, the woman. Uh, you hear a crack of a rifle. Archie, this will hit you. I thought we ran inside the building. I thought we did too. You were on top of the roof and did not have time to run inside the building when all of this went down. Okay. They had time to flip a table, but we didn't have time to run. Mm -hmm. Exactly. They had time to take their first action. Okay. With multi-action penalties. Did they take the multi-action penalties? They are taking the okay. multi-action penalties. And they're going to take an additional <laughs> one and shoot you too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. They are Lapis's face. Fine. Um, Do it. Oh, oh, they are. Um. So minus two to the roll. Minus two, so six plus three. Don't worry. I have two thousand pounds. <laughs> yes, that's oh, your all. Uh, they, uh, the woman misses. It is yes, now your guys' is. turn. I'll smack that. Oh, uh, we're running. Yeah. 
We run back down and uh, get out, out through the kitchen. Do we want to do that? We want to see what's going on on the balcony. Uh, we do not run... out there. Oh, damn it. Do you care? Uh, <laughs> Does Kage have feelings? Don't you kill me. Kage has feelings. He just chooses not to let and them show on space. Up? Don't make me You guys do have an up, so you guys will roll... Uh, you Two will two. have a additional roll. So this goes off to the first roll, so... They, they get added together. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Remember, I can protect myself, and I'm much more deadly than either of you combined. That's not necessarily true. You can just do a lot of area of effect damage. That's true. Don't like, I think you guys should get out. To the woman with the rifle. And get away. Yeah, I don't think you should engage. I don't think you guys should engage. So, know Amiza there. knows where uh, Lavis right. and Archie were. She does not know where we are. And if she's going to get out, she's more likely to try to right. rendezvous with them. So I I'm think okay we rendezvous with them. I would like to shut and lock the safe, push it down, and move the statue back okay. before we before we flee. All right. Are you going to leave it so cockeyed? I. I don't think we should. I think leave it. Standard. Try to look, yeah, pristine. Okay. Maybe he left it like that. He might have left it like that on purpose. He yeah, more than likely said it and walked away. It's it's just more likely that he will notice that someone was there. Yeah, let's go. Oh, and then shut the the, the desk and lock the desk. Okay. There's a lot and of then shut the door and lock the door. <laughs> All right, so the two, the two of you are spending basically out. your whole turn like <laughs> and get back out to the <laughs> service <laughs> exit <laughs> entrance, go there, and then lock the service exit. Okay, so that's a lot of multi access. <laughs> I don't think you can do a lot. You, you have you have up, so do it. Waste it for my your up. up on no, you locks. do because right now it's well for this round. <laughs> yeah. The next round it might be a different card. Yeah. You're not you're not shoot or you're not attacking anyone anyway. No, you're trying fair. to get out. It's totally fair. Multi action. Multi action. So it's minus two to each action. So if you're locking basically two things and then putting everything back, I'm going to call oh, the, that as three this, actions. The safe should be easy to yeah, lock. Yeah, you just spin it. Slam the lock. So are you, you're, you're, you're taking care of the safe. You're locking the things. Okay. All right. Go for it. So I can roll two dice? You roll one die and you take minus two to your... No, it's an up. Oh, you do roll two dice. Thank you. Sorry. But, I thought you But it's minus two. It's going to be minus two. Now, what would this be? Lock picking? Mm-hmm. Okay. Do the whole thing and then subtract. Uh, 19. 19! Okay. You guys make it out, Kage. Unscathed. Unscathed. MC Fang is kind of hiding behind a dumpster. So you should be able to play a card. That was your action. I whistle and we go. All right. <laughs> play a card. You both see. Thank you. You both see uh, not so much leaping. But flying towards you with green wings. Towards us? Towards this building. You see a trio of scarab warriors flying towards this place. They are Dr. Mobius's elite flying... They didn't let us do it. Okay. Dr. Mobius's... Dun, 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 dun. Elite flying... So, you see them them coming in. We've got three of you left. What are you doing? We're trying to figure out what the heck is going on. Nobody's shooting at you yet. We're under attack! <laughs> Come on! She's a pretty face, but she's got nothing up here. <laughs> is that the girl with yeah. the rifle? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I understand that. Why? Why did you invite me to a party where you thought this would happen? Listen, can what we talk about on? this later if, we, if we're alive? If we're alive? I didn't alive. know that this was going to happen, but I assumed something was going to happen. I know you're friends with the Lapis. <laughs> False hits. <laughs> he, he's also indicated that he kind of likes yeah, the idea of the Lapis heroes. Are you winking at the yeah. heroes? Yeah, well, he is. He can't, so he is, like, very, like... Who is that girl, by the way? Is that oh, your that? sister? No! <laughs> half-sister. Betrothed? You're your half-sister. She's not very nice. Oh, she's really not. I don't really like her. That's fine. I don't either. I can hear both of you, and if you want to get out without being shot by me, I would suggest <laughs> stop talking. 
Um, can I? I'm s- going to push you towards the stairs and say, "Get out of here!" and then turn around and shoot. What are the twins doing, and what is um the dad doing? Um, the dad is uh, very calmly kind of sitting up against the with his back to the table, and you see that he has um, pulled out a what looks like a walkie-talkie and is starting to like. Like Morse code it up? Morse code it up, yeah. Great. Um, the twins are currently, they have touched, like, their, like, right hand to left hand, and you can see that they're, like, flowing into each other, and they seem to be getting larger as they do. Nope. No. Uh, <laughs> can I... This is gross. I mean, I guess I don't need to detect magic for that. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's obvious. <laughs> There's something happening over there. Um, you should just take... Take Alistair and teleport away. I know, but do I want them to know what I can do? Well, then run in without Although anybody that would and then teleport me, away. That would make me a, an asset to this. <laughs> but I'm going to flip to the other side. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm building it up. Thanks for warning us. <laughs> Good to know. Curse you. Oh. Slow played and... Um, <laughs> foreshadowed betrayal. <laughs> Inevitable. <laughs> I'm like, everything I'm doing seems like I'm going to the other side right now. Um, <clears throat> well, I mean, I could protect him. He thinks I'm a, he thinks I'm a mage anyway, because he saw me do magic. He thinks you were, you know, dressed up, dressed up as a mage. Okay, well then that's good. I guess I'm going to play it out. I'm just going to watch. Okay. This round. Alright. I'm going to waste my up doing nothing. <laughs> All right. I mean, it's not like I can Morse code them back. No. I've got a stupid little purse. You do have a little purse. <laughs> <laughs> and a bustle. <laughs> a big rose on your butt. Um, so I push you towards the door and I say, run! So, like when I threw grenade or the, the dynamite and stuff, I wasn't trying to hit the person, so there was like a set target number you just have to hit. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I'll double check that. No, I think you you had, you weren't trying to hit the people in that case. You were just trying to throw it. Yeah, so it's more like dragon's breath. Same thing hits the ground, goes poof, fire. I would like to shoot at him first before you. Uh, you'll roll him. a single attack test with the appropriate skill. Um, everybody who gets hit, uh, so you'll compare it against everybody's dodge. Okay. Yeah, go ahead, shoot. Uh, I'd like to shoot him. All right. Foist. And where is the Jade Scale? He's not in the room anymore, right? No, he's, no, he's flying, flying across, across the, the lava. He up. can actually fly. I thought you meant he was just running real fast. No. He can I mean, he, like, like, he, flew, right? he, he can fly. fly. He does not have a jetpack. He can, he can fly. fly. He can fly. There you go. Mm. Knew what it said I enough. almost took fly. I could have flown with him. You had to mention it. 23. Flying. Is... <laughs> Once again, I, sh- I should take a fly. good or no standing yes. success. Yes, next time success. take fly. Take fly. <laughs> All right, then yeah. I'm going once, once to once she has, once she has to more. Play yes, to get one more experience. Drama or two, I guess. Drama. So you can play it as a possibility. Drama, drama, drama. Oh, I forgot to play that. Yeah. All the discarded cards you kind of need to keep. I got a thing that allows me to exchange for something. Okay. Um. So twenty-nine plus nineteen is forty-eight. Can you remind me what I'm making? So thirteen. Is? So twenty-seven to hit him. Oh, sorry, 28 with my double tap. Magic is okay, then that will definitely be a um, outstanding success. Ow, ow. 28. So that would be like if we were in the living land and we play that and then my... Exploded! There's my a own six! tech and whatnot, or technology in general, would, would, would be able to, to work. Um, so would this come to us right now? Yes. Um, maybe if we had... 21! 21! Uh, he's got a wound really he's going to spend a possibility um, he takes nut like they, it hits and it sparks off of his jade scales mm-hmm. looks up two mm-hmm. Archie no just two at a well he rolled a pot he rolled reality I know I'm saying I'm saying I should shoot you do you, but I'm, I'm pushing you towards the stairs and hoping that you're going to go down them, and I'm waiting for you to go down them before I go down them. I can shoot and move. But you can shoot and move. Can I, can I move after move. him? Sure. So many times. Uh, yes, I will. Next, Adamantine. 
let's waste those precious special points. <laughs> Make one. User up. Oh, that's right. Thank you. <laughs> the sound of his revolver going off. Adam 18 bullets mm-hmm. flying through the air. Question? Hitting. Some Do I have to play this? Can I find out if I'm hitting before I play this? Sure. Probably. 16. A 16 will hit. Good? Nope. Do you want to play it so you can get a good? Will a 19 make it good? A 19 will not make it good. Then Then worthless. So I hit him. So he takes base 14 minus 4 from his armor. All right, he will take the 2 shock. Okay. You kind of see spins a bit. And as he spins, you can see these three scarab warriors perpendicular to the ground, flying in a indefinitely a mighty duck's V formation coming right okay. towards you. And then I'm ready. Excellent. I shut the door behind him and stay on the roof. Let him have it. Heroes go first. You hear. Go first, so I'm open the door and shoot him again. <laughs> Are you holding the door shut? I mean, yeah, I'm standing in front of it. Okay. But I mean, I, we all get to go. Yeah, you all get to go. Right. Yes. Um, oh, and... Yes, I will shoot him again. All right, do Tage, we, what are we going to do about the Scarab do Warriors? Get you get or... nothing. Shoot them? them? Nothing. Nothing. Do you have a, oh, oh I, have a, I have a war boomerang. <laughs> I have a pistol. <laughs> Glock 9mm. Shoot the jetpacks. That they don't have shot. jetpacks. They have wings. I'll just shoot them in the torso region. Then. Twenty to hit. You did wings. Twenty-one because I double tap. Mechanical wings. Twenty-one to hit him. Twenty-one to hit is a good success. Um, fifteen damage. All right, he takes two more shock. Really, Lapis, is that all that you have? I will put your soul before set tonight. It's still not his he turn, is. but he definitely gets to toss you. All gone? Done? No, I haven't gone yet. Yeah, I didn't. It's not his turn. He just got. He got a He's free taunt. Why oh, no, I'm just saying. Yeah. Waiting for these guys. We'll taunt her. How, how far away are we from the uh, scarab people? Scar- scarab water. Um, they are. Bel- you you are. You know, around, around ground level. Yeah, you're at ground level. So you're about two, forty-five feet. Two stories up. No, they're flying at like three to four stories up. They're mm-hmm. high. They're like airplanes. And, they're, and there's three of them? No, really. <laughs> there's three of them in a B formation? There are three. is the difficulty understanding what airplanes are. <laughs> she's an elf. She, she's in character. An aeroplane, yes. Uh, yeah, she goes, my, I'm, those I'm fairies are very large. Because the war boomerang has a range of 5, 10, 15. So yeah. 15-ish? No. Oh, is that feet or yards? I'm clear. <laughs> Meters. Five, five meters. feet is... Oh, it is meters in this game. Ludicrous. I'm pretty it sure. It is meters. So you could make a roll at minus four to hit one of them. She's from the Do living land. They're in L's. <laughs> it's cubits. <laughs> they are five one and a half lizard feet. tails away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you sweet. So I'm going to make all of my references to you in lizard tails. <laughs> Ideally, that would be great. You should totally throw MC Fang at them. Just I don't think you that's a good idea at all. Kind of. uh, you can make it, but it's going to be minus four to the roll. <laughs> do it. Ah, you do can eat it. them. What if you hit? Right there, yeah, right. 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 What if you hit? Oh, MC Fang! Oh God! <laughs> See, he wants to fly. <laughs> he does. It's true. <laughs> I'm half pterodactyl, mom. <laughs> um, birds are descended from me. <laughs> An eleven. <laughs> You want to spend a possibility? A possibility? Yeah, you, got you got four, yeah. You um, it. yes. That's why his head was weighted down. <laughs> right? <laughs> Where's the other one? There, I have three. Mm-hmm. Now I have two. Okay. Because I get one over there. Um, yes, fine. Good. I don't like that, so I'm rolling it back inside the box. <laughs> Great. <laughs> That's the new rule now. <laughs> you only get the to rule, that the, one. The rule That's is the same rule. rule. You can keep it if it falls out of the box, but then you have to keep it <laughs> Whatever you choose, you have to keep that. I know, that's why I said. Yeah. There you go. All right. Yeah. Um, so, 19? 19 will hit. 
Okay. Regular Great. success. Fine. Woo. Good. So the war boomerang. Strength <laughs> plus, plus one. So this is 11. Doesn't and it one. returns to me. It's 11. 11. <laughs> All right. It will deal one shock to them. Kang! And change the I shoot that one. To... You shoot that one? Right, I forgot about the, the flying S. <laughs> really? Remember, it costs oh, really? at least a 10. Oh, yeah. So 16. Uh, 16. Uh, that is good enough to hit. What's the base damage on your weapon? That's a good question. 13. All right, so they take a large number of shock. <laughs> Many shocks. But not a wound as of yet. Amiza, you see she's getting ready to, to uh, take another shot at somebody on the on the rooftop. I'm going to try and distract her, but I don't want her to shoot me. <laughs> an excellent Get up and what? <laughs> I could say... Just screaming oh, just, it. just screaming it. Freaking lightning bolt her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lightning bolt her. There are way too many people here. They can kill me. They're twins becoming one. It's <laughs> because she's a future sister. Uh, we <laughs> have a question and run. Uh, well, I think I'm just going to say, like, what? why don't we just get out of here? Like, why don't well, we... Well, you can go take Archie with you. Go on, get girly. Okay. Well, as I get up, my Alistair. giant Alistair. bustle... <laughs> Hits her in her gun. So hand. then you need to give me a uh, trick roll or maneuver. Um, maneuver? a trick would be tied to. Oh, Mind. I have it actually. There Mind. We go. Um, a ten, but I have wow. a plus three, so I can make it thirteen. All right, she will take minus two or a shot. We got cards. Uh, oh well. Come on, Archie. You guys, no, you're running? Not Archie. Allie. Alistair. Allie. Alistair. All right, the two of you make a run for the... Either that or... Yeah, I we'll get you out of here. Or I could open a portal. Just like... It's your choice. you got to make a decision. Hold on, You've already please. made one roll, so it'll be a... Uh, so here's the thing. If you do something else, you'll take minus two to that trick roll as well. Oh, yeah, that's hard. No, okay. I'm not going to do that. All right. <laughs> well, come on, then. Let's go. Okay. Go. Run! Is what... His dad says. says. Go ahead, get out of here. As he sips his cognac. Yeah, he does not sip his cognac. All right, who's going next? He's a shot. Over the door? <laughs> yeah. I don't know, I'm standing in front of it. Then you have to give, you guys you gotta, have to give me strength rolls. I told rolls. you to run. You gotta give me strength rolls. Go and get out. Yawn. <laughs> Yawn. Get out. Gone. Oh. oh. Six. <laughs> yeah, you definitely push your way through the door. Ability. <laughs> Just to push her out and take a nine is two to make my shot because it's the second action I take. I love it when PCs fight. <laughs> yes. What'd you get? Push her out. Uh, yeah. Should have gotten to the full and Did you? What was uh, yours? Six. You get four. Yeah! Oh, so crappy. Do you want to spend a possibility on opening the door? Go downstairs. I can't shoot him from downstairs. Can you shoot up? He's not on the roof. He's floating. Yeah, but you can't shoot. He won't be able to see where he's at. I'm gonna have. If he to... goes downstairs to the to the street. He can shoot up. He's flying over the the roof right now. I'm gonna have to go like way over here to shoot. Then you'll be safe. <laughs> oh, I'll be safe. Oh, get, spend the possibility. You know you want to. You you succeed. <laughs> like succeed. a plus ten. Yeah, for yeah. jump. Ha ha! Push it open. Throw a dragon's breath. Okay. Do you want a coup de gras? Coup de gracie. Succeeds. Well, if it's if I have to get successful first. Good but, luck. Say that one. <laughs> say that one. one. Maybe. If I was unsuccessful attack, they would add a mm-hmm. damage die. <laughs> it's good. See two digits. Thirteen. <laughs> it is. Don't forget your minus two. Yeah, yeah. No, I'll do this one. Uh give me a one of the supporter plus three cards. Okay, so you get your plus three? Plus three, so that's 
15, let's do 13, 16. 16 is good enough to get a success. 16 points. Double oh, it. Um, <laughs> or whatever. 20 points of fire damage as the roof is on fire. The roof. The roof. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> Man. <sighs> All right, he spends another possibility to take no damage from the. Oh come on! His <laughs> possibilities are, being... possibilities are just flying back and forth. It's mm-hmm. true. Spend those possibilities, y'all. Mm-hmm. Who's next? I think that's all of us. Yeah, yeah. It's the villain's turn. Oh, thank you. And he's done. Go to card. <laughs> <laughs> you, you have your, you're leaving the room. All right. Uh, I mean, I you guys are under the surface and shooting up into the air. Like a war boomerang goes flying. It's <laughs> right in the Alistair's, <laughs> Alistair's uh, half-sister goes, Was that a war boomerang? <laughs> 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 she just threw a stick. <laughs> she just threw a stick. <laughs> um, a you see stick someone appear over the balcony and just start spraying the alleyway with an MP40. Uh, Certainly seems efficient. That's, that's, terrible. Terrible. That's, good. that's not great. Alright, so plus two, minus two. Minus one. Um, that's like a multi-action when you spray? Well, she's trying to hit both of them. What? Yeah. Uh, does a 14... <laughs> A 14 hits both of your dodges, yes? Yes. All right, but only for base damage. So what is the, uh, what are your, t- wait, I got your toughnesses right here. Yes, you do. I do, look at that. Um, so nice. S- Somebody wrote that right. Sadie, um, two shock. Kage, two shock. The two guys sort of become one. And you see this... She's not aiming for MC Fang, is she? No. You see, you guys see this massive shape. Like, mortar kind of falls from the balcony. And you see this massive shape leap. You see this, what looks to be mm-hmm. almost like, like an ogre. I just want you to know, this is going to haunt my nightmares. <laughs> um, it's got I don't two know heads. <laughs> one, like one face here, and then one massive face that seems identical but stretched across its belly. Mm-mm. My goal is to make sure that that this does settle like deep into <laughs> Sadie's subconscious. Um, <laughs> That's my key. <laughs> one of the scarab warriors comes towards you. The other two are taking shots at the two of you. They turn. Um, Christopher, left or right? Right. All right, I need one of those 20s. Oh. oh. <laughs> I chose poorly. You did chose poorly. Uh, you are missed. Great. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> they, got a nine, they got a nine to hit you, so not super great. I mean, the other one rolled a 23, which is plus eight. They were baffled by the war boomerang. I know they, it. Yeah, that was the one that, that definitely got hit. 23. <laughs> Is enough to get a outstanding success oh, on Kage. God. I just healed up. <laughs> I just healed Dude. up. Do you have any possibilities left to serve? No. Oh, oh, I can transfer one to you. You don't spend a coin. You just uh, one wound and two shock. Unless you want to spend a possibility to uh, make your reality test. Here, I can play to give any number of your possibilities to a storm knight. All right. So okay. how many possibilities are you giving? Her? <clears throat> just. All right, roll it, Christopher. Reality? Roll T. Waste of that. You know what's right next to a 20? A two. (laughs) (laughs) Insult and injury strike you in the shoulder. (laughs) Three. Wait, uh, 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 three. Yeah, insult and injury, buddy. Is this, will this work? I mean, I can do that and that, and then it'll be a nine. That He's got to get to ten. Got to get to ten. Dude, I don't all right, know. I got one. We ain't getting all of them in one. You two, <laughs> and you all feel a massive static discharge in the air. I do? Yep. Ooh. Coming from behind you, coming from kind of up in the air. Um, 
Alistair looks at you. Go! Run! They don't... They, they can't get my father now. Tell... If you know who she is, if you are who I think you are, tell her that there are two. The, tw- the, the, the Sphinx... There, sphinxes? Sphinx eye? I'm not sure how, what the plural of Sphinx is. <laughs> but the scale is doing something at the Sphinx at Giza. Okay, but why can't they get your father? What do you mean? He, he teleported out of here. That's what that static charge was. His hair is like... <laughs> your hair is also like that. Oh, okay, he yeah. can see my ears. And thing is not happy. <laughs> does he see? Yeah, so does, he, does he see her ears? With the hair floating in the air. Is there like moonlight behind it? As no, they're in the hallway. Ears? Sorry. Can he what? see my ears? Probably. He, no, because your hair's like wow, <laughs> <laughs> like in like a perfect like. Have you ever touched you, one of those? You have an you have an orb of hair. Oh, good. Um. <laughs> okay, so that's what you're telling me. Yes, they need something. I don't know what, but whatever's going on there, there is a. You weren't at the party. You left before it happened. Whatever Farouk was involved in, it stems from what's going on at the Sphinx. You have to hurry. You mean like the torture chamber downstairs? He doesn't know that you saw that. He also Do you know. know about that? I didn't know it was a torture chamber. I, I, I suspected it was some sort of will-sapping device or yeah. maybe a mind-control thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. both. both of the above. If they get... If they complete what they're trying to do, they will be able to control everyone's thoughts and read them all the way from the Rock of Gibraltar to the Dome of the Rock. You so have need, to hurry. So I need to go where there are two sphinxes. He doesn't need a device to read my mind. Where's just the blank. woman in red? <laughs> Why won't you just die? <laughs> uh, this is... Uh, he's going to, yeah, to honk you again. He's going to honk you a question. Maybe not. I'm so angry that I'm spending that last <laughs> pause. That's how angry I am. <laughs> Does it get to explode if it's a reroll? Uh, if, you roll, if you roll a 10, it gets to explode. Mm-hmm. Huh. Yeah, you need to get that number or something. Huh. Um... Eight and uh, twenty-six. Okay. I'm really in the character. <laughs> yeah, you are, and you're mad at. We should actually see really that about hoping you. that you damage her because then her shield goes. <laughs> uh, Fifteen twenty. Lapis eight charges. twelve two wounds and four shock as he rains coruscate and flame down upon you. Okay, so one wound, Good two jump. shock. Excellent. <laughs> Alright. We should get you a little, like, um, you know those little 25 cent vending machines? We should get you one of those little bubbles to put around your character. <laughs> so, right now, uh-huh. you two are in the alley facing off against two scare warriors. And looking at the backside of an ogre, which yeah, just, you got to see. I'm never going to recover. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, by the way, the loincloth only uh, covers the front right, and the back, right. and not the it's under. A, it's a flap, oh. definitely not a. That's right. There's two butt cracks. <laughs> there's there's one, but it's enough for two. Um, you are fleeing from the the scene, and you and you are on the rooftop facing off against the tussling over scale. the door. Mm-hmm. I'm going to flip this card. Okay. To see who goes first next. Okay. And then we are going to end for tonight. Okay. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kiss him on the cheek and say we'll be in touch. <laughs> um. Okay. All right. You guys ready? Portal away. I would are, like to point are out. Are we ready? I don't know. <laughs> yes. This is this was the cut that was made by the lapis, as Alistair would refer to her, the lapis. The lapis. I shall triumph. The villains will go first mm. in two weeks. When we return, we are off next week for the week of Thanksgiving, but we will be back the first week of December with more Torg Tuesdays. What is going on in the Sphinx? Where is this other Sphinx? That And how are the two linked? What is going on with Alistair's father? Will Alistair find love? (laughs) Will Lapis finally put down her former partner from Cairo PD? 
Now notice the jade scale, and is she in the pocket of the Frenchman? Find out in two weeks when we come back to Torg and the Nile Empire. Oops. If you have not subscribed...